I'm Brian Parsons. Old Dominion coach Bobby Wilder said that Virginia Tech was the best team that the Monarchs have ever matched up against. This after a 30-point home loss to North Carolina last week. The Hokies, the first-ranked team that the Monarchs have played since moving up to FBS. Now, the game may have been a little too close for comfort early on for Hokies fans, but in the end, it was Tech that pulled away. For the game recap, we head to Blacksburg, where Nathan Epstein was there to see it all unfold. Brian, you and I both know what a house of horrors Lane Stadium can be for any team in the nation, let alone one still looking for its first ever win over a Power 5 opponent. The Monarchs 29-point underdogs heading into this afternoon's historic first matchup against the Hokies. One of the best entrances in college football. The house is jumping. Here comes Virginia Tech, ranked 13th in the nation, 3-0. The first test for 17-year-old true freshman Stevie Williams making his first start at quarterback. But the start of this one, all about the defense. Monarchs playing without injured starters Daniel Apu and Bumi Rutimi still playing with an attitude. Tim Ward got the sack of Josh Jackson. Second quarter, Sean Carter with the interception. Monarchs held the Hokies to just three points through the first quarter and a half. We just wanted to come out and play fast. Um, we wanted to play our ball this week. Last week, we got a, away from how we play. Um, like Coach said, uh, last week, a lot of us were trying to do too much. You could feel it, the energy on our sideline. Our defense was feeling like we're going to win. But the offense couldn't take advantage. Williams going down the sideline in the second quarter, picked off by Divine Diablo, and you can't keep the Hokies scoreless forever. Jackson to Stephen Peoples, 17 yards into the end zone. Tech would score touchdowns on their next three straight possessions. Third quarter, here's a backbreaker. It's already 17 to nothing Tech. Jackson going long. Monarchs defend it well, but the pass batted right into the waiting arms of Peoples. Jackson throws for almost 300 yards and three scores. Williams, meanwhile, in his first start, goes 8 of 25 for just 85 yards. Did show flashes, but didn't get much help as Tech goes on for the shutout 38 to nothing win. Well, first experience, well, first career start, that was the funniest experience I ever had. I know been in a big crowd like that, played in front of a big crowd. I was just going out there having fun. Our O-line hung in there, and I felt like Stevie was very dynamic on the field today. Just a couple things go our way. Um, in some other situations, and we're all probably looking at Stevie Williams a little different right now. I love this this team, this attitude and effort. If we can get healthy, um, I really feel like we can. We're going to make some noise in our league. Up next for the Monarchs is that much-needed off week before they open up conference play against Florida Atlantic. And meanwhile, for the Hokies, right here at Lane Stadium next weekend is that primetime showdown against second-ranked Clemson in Blacksburg. Nathan Epstein for the Sports Wrap. All right, thank you, Nathan. And after the game, Coach Wilder tweeted out this. Best wishes for a great year to Virginia Tech football and Coach Puente, class organization and classy coach. We have great respect for the Hokies. Next season, the Hokies are scheduled to come to Norfolk and play ODU at Foreman Field.